Tests for the functional group present in the organic compounds. Tests for unsaturation. Bromine water test. Procedure. Take the unknown compound using a spatula. Add it into a test tube. Take 2 ml of distilled water in a measuring cylinder. Pour it into the test tube and shake it well. Take 1 to 2 drops of bromine water. Add it to the test tube and shake it well. The disappearance of orange-red color of bromine indicates unsaturation. Otherwise, it is saturation. Bayer's Test Procedure Add some unknown compound into a test tube using a spatula. Take 2 ml of distilled water in a measuring cylinder. Add it to the test tube and shake it well. Now, add 2 to 3 drops of KMNO4 solution to it. Decolorization of pink color of KMNO4 indicates unsaturation, otherwise it is saturation. Alcoholic group Sodium metal test Procedure Take a clean and dry measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of the given unknown compound into it. Pour it into a dry test tube. Add a small amount of anhydrous calcium sulfate in it. Shake well. Place a funnel over a test tube. A filter paper is set into the funnel. Filter the solution into the test tube. Remove the funnel. Take small pieces of sodium metal using a forceps. Place it on a filter paper and dry it with another filter paper. Add 2-3 to three pieces of sodium metal into the test tube using a forceps. Alcohols react with active metals like sodium to produce effervescence due to the liberation of hydrogen gas. Ester Test Procedure Take a measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of the unknown compound into the measuring jar. Transfer it into another dry test tube. Take another measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of glacial acetic acid into it. Pour it into the test tube. Take a dropper. Add 2 to 3 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid into the test tube. Warm the mixture in a water bath for 10 minutes. Add this mixture into 20 ml of cold water taken in a beaker and smell it. Alcohol reacts with carboxylic acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid to form a fruity smelling compound called esters. A fruity smell indicates the presence of an alcoholic group. Seric ammonium nitrate test Procedure Take a measuring jar, pour 1 ml of the given unknown compound into it. Pour it into a dry test tube.
Add few drops of ceric ammonium nitrate reagent into it. Shake well. Alcoholic compounds on reaction with ceric ammonium nitrate to give a red coloration due to the formation of alkoxy cerium 4 complex. Acetyl chloride test. Procedure. Take a measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of the given unknown liquid into it. Pour it into a dry test tube. Add a small amount of anhydrous calcium sulfate into it. Shake well. Place a funnel over the test tube. Place a filter paper in the funnel. Filter the liquid in the test tube. Remove the funnel. Add 2 to 3 drops of acetyl chloride into it. Take a glass rod and dip it in ammonium hydroxide solution. Bring the glass rod near the mouth of the test tube. Alcohols on reaction with acetyl chloride form esters and give out hydrogen chloride gas. The hydrogen chloride gives white fumes of ammonium chloride with ammonium hydroxide. Iodoform test Procedure Take a measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of the given unknown liquid into it. Pour it into a dry test tube. Take 1 ml of 1% iodine solution in a measuring jar. Add it to the test tube. Add dilute sodium hydroxide solution dropwise until the brown color of iodine is discharged. Warm the mixture gently in a water bath. Formation of yellow precipitate of iodoform indicates the presence of alcoholic group. Lucas test Procedure Take a small quantity of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols in three different test tubes. Using a dropper, take a small quantity of Lucas reagent. Add a few drops of the Lucas reagent into tertiary alcohol. Tertiary alcohol reacts instantaneously with Lucas reagent to form alkyl chloride which being insoluble results in cloudiness in the solution. Take Lucas reagent using the dropper. Add a few drops of it into the secondary alcohol and keep the test tube undisturbed for 5 minutes. Secondary alcohol reacts in about 1 to 5 minutes with Lucas reagent to form alkyl chloride which being insoluble results in cloudiness in the solution. Again take Lucas reagent. Add a few drops of it into the primary alcohol. Using a test tube holder, take the test tube containing primary alcohol. Heat the test tube over the Bunsen burner. On warming, primary alcohols react with the Lucas reagent to form alkyl chloride, which being insoluble results in cloudiness in the solution. Test for phenolic group Litmus test Procedure Take a small quantity of unknown solution using a dropper. Take a moist blue litmus paper. Drop 2 to 3 drops of it on a moist blue litmus paper. Carboxylic acid turns blue litmus red indicating it is acidic in nature. Ferric chloride test Procedure Take a measuring jar. 
pour 1 ml of neutral ferric chloride into it. Pour it into a dry test tube. Add 2 to 3 drops of given liquid into the test tube. Phenol on reaction with neutral ferric chloride gives a violet color due to the formation of a complex. Lieberman's test Procedure Take a test tube. Add 2 to 3 crystals of sodium nitrite into it. Take a measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of phenol into it. Pour it into the test tube. Heat it gently for half a minute and allow it to cool. Take a measuring jar. Pour 1 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid into it. Pour it into the tube. Phenol on reaction with sodium nitrite in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid gives a deep blue or green colored product. Add water to it carefully. The blue or green color changes to red or brown color on treatment with water due to the formation of endophenol. Add excess of sodium hydroxide solution to the test tube. The red color again changes to blue or green by the addition of a strong alkali due to the formation of endophenol anion. Thaline dye test Procedure Take a small quantity of phenol in a test tube. Using a spatula, take a small quantity of phthalic anhydride, add it into the test tube containing phenol. Take the test tube using a test tube holder. Using a dropper, Add a small quantity of concentrated sulfuric acid to the test tube. Heat the contents of the test tube in an oil bath for about one minute. Pour the reaction mixture carefully into a beaker containing sodium hydroxide solution. On heating, phenol reacts with phthalic anhydride in the presence of sulfuric acid to produce phenolphthalein, which is colorless. Phenolphthalein gives pink color with an alkali such as NaOH. Test for aldehydic and ketonic group 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine test Procedure Take a spatula Take some given unknown compound and add it to a dry test tube. Take a dropper. Add some drops of rectified spirit until the compound just dissolves. Take 5 ml of 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine solution in a measuring jar. Add it to the test tube. Shake the mixture. Allow it to stand for 5 minutes. Yellow or orange crystals form indicating the presence of aldehydes or ketones. Sodium bisulfite test. Procedure Take 2 ml of sodium bisulfite in a measuring jar.
pour it into a dry test tube. Add some unknown compound to it with a spatula. Cork the test tube. Shake it and allow it to stand for 20 minutes. Formation of crystalline white precipitate confirms the presence of carbonyl group. Tests for aldehydes Schiff's test Procedure Take a dropper. Take a few drops of given unknown solution using a dropper. Pour the taken solution into a test tube. Take 1 ml of the Schiff's reagent in a measuring jar. Take the test tube containing organic compound. Pour Schiff's reagent into the compound and shake it. Appearance of pink color confirms the presence of aldehyde group. Tollens test. Procedure. Take 1 ml of silver nitrate solution in a test tube. Pour it into a clean test tube. Take another measuring cylinder. Take 2 ml of dilute NaOH solution in it. Pour it into the same test tube. Silver nitrate reacts with sodium hydroxide to form brown precipitate of silver oxide. Take a dropper. Add dilute ammonia solution dropwise to the test tube. The precipitate will dissolve in the solution. Add 2-3 to three drops of the given liquid to the test tube. Warm the test tube on a water bath for 5 minutes. In the presence of aldehydes, the silver ions in the test reagent are reduced to elemental silver and accumulate on the inner surface of the reaction vessel, producing a silver mirror effect on the inner surface of the vessel. Felling's Test Procedure Take 1 ml of Felling's solution A in a measuring jar. Pour it into the test tube. Take 1 ml of Felling's solution B in a measuring jar. Add it to the test tube. Add 4 to 5 drops of the given solution into the test tube using a dropper. Warm the test tube in a water bath for 5 minutes. Aldehydes reduce the Cu2 ions in the test reagent to red precipitate of copper 1 oxide. Tests for ketones. M dinitrobenzene test. Procedure Take a dropper. Take some drops of given liquid. Pour it into a test tube. Add a small amount of powdered M dinitrobenzene to it. Take a small quantity of sodium hydroxide solution using a dropper. Add a small amount of dilute sodium hydroxide solution to it. Shake well. Appearance of a violet color that slowly fades confirms ketonic group. Sodium nitroprusside test. Procedure Take a spatula. Take some crystals of sodium nitroprusside into a test tube.
Add some amount of distilled water to it and shake the test tube well. Take a small amount of given compound using a spatula. Add it into the test tube. Shake well. Add some drops of sodium hydroxide solution. The anion of the ketone formed by an alkali reacts with nitroprusside ion to form a red colored complex. Tests for carboxylic group Sodium bicarbonate test Procedure Take a dropper. Take few drops of unknown solution. Add it into the test tube. Take a small quantity of sodium bicarbonate using a spatula. Add it into the test tube. Carboxylic acid reacts with sodium bicarbonate to produce brisk effervescence due to the formation of carbon dioxide gas. Ester test. Procedure. Take a dropper. Take a few drops of unknown solution. Add it into the test tube. Take a few drops of ethyl alcohol using a dropper. Add ethyl alcohol into the test tube. Take 1 to 2 drops of concentrated sulfuric acid using another dropper. Add it into the test tube. Take the test tube. Place it in a boiling water bath and heat the contents of the test tube for 5 minutes. Pour it into a small beaker containing distilled water. Carboxylic acid reacts with alcohol in the acidic medium to produce fruity smelling compounds called esters. Litmus Test Procedure Take a small quantity of unknown solution using a dropper. Drop 2 to 3 drops of it on a moist blue litmus paper. Carboxylic acid turns blue litmus red, indicating it is acidic in nature. Test for amino group. Litmus test. Procedure. Take a small quantity of unknown solution using a dropper. Pour a few drops of it onto the moist red litmus paper. Amines are basic in nature which turns red litmus paper blue. Solubility test. Procedure. Take some amount of given compound in a test tube using a spatula. Add a small quantity of dilute HCl to the test tube. Organic compounds containing the amino group are basic in nature and easily react with acids to form soluble salts. Carbyl amine test Procedure Take some potassium hydroxide in a test tube. Add 2 ml of ethanol in a measuring jar. Add it into the test tube. Warm the test tube until potassium hydroxide dissolves. Using a dropper, take a few drops of chloroform. Add it into the test tube. Add a small amount of the given unknown compound in the same test tube. Gently warm it. Aliphatic as well as aromatic primary amines, when warmed with chloroform and alcoholic KOH, give isocyanide, 
which has an offensive smell. Azo dye test Procedure We require organic compound, dilute HCl, sodium nitride, distilled water, beta naphthol, dilute NaOH, spatula, droppers, test tubes, etc. Take a small quantity of organic compound using a dropper and transfer it into the test tube A. Using another dropper, take small quantity of dilute HCl. Add it into the test tube A and shake the test tube well to dissolve the compound in HCl. Take a small quantity of sodium nitrite using the spatula. Take the test tube B. Transfer it into test tube B. Now add a small quantity of distilled water to the test tube and shake the test tube well to dissolve sodium nitrite. Place the test tube in the test tube rack. Using another spatula, take a small quantity of beta naphthol. Transfer it into test tube C. Using a dropper, take a small quantity of dilute NaOH. Add it into test tube C and shake the test tube well to dissolve naphthol. Take the test tubes, place them in a nice bath and cool the test tubes for some time. Take the test tubes A and B. Add sodium nitrite solution into test tube A. Now add the resulting solution from test tube A to test tube C. Aromatic primary amine reacts with nitrous acid generated in situ by the reaction of sodium nitrite with HCl at 0 to 5 degrees Celsius to produce diazonium salt. This couples with beta naphthol to give a scarlet red dye. Nitrous acid test Procedure Take a small quantity of sodium nitrite using a spatula. Take the test tube A. Transfer sodium nitrite into test tube A. Pour small quantity of distilled water to it and shake the test tube well to dissolve sodium nitrite. Place the test tube in the rack. Using a dropper, transfer a small quantity of organic compound into test tube B. Using another dropper, add a small quantity of concentrated HCl to test tube B and shake the test tube well to dissolve the compound in HCl. Take the test tubes. Place them in a nice bath and allow them to cool for some time. Mix both the solutions. No visual change is observed in the case of tertiary amine has formed a soluble nitrite salt by reacting with the acid present. Primary amine reacts with nitrous acid to liberate bubbles of nitrogen gas. Secondary amine reacts with nitrous acid to form a yellow oily layer of nitrosamine. Hinsberg test Procedure Using a dropper, take a small quantity of 25% NaOH and add a few drops of it into the test tubes A, B and C. Now add a small quantity of distilled water to the test tubes A, B and C. Using a dropper, take a small quantity of benzene sulfonyl chloride and add a few drops of it into the test tubes A, B and C. Shake the test tubes well. Cool the test tubes by placing them in a beaker containing water. Primary amine reacts with benzene sulfonyl chloride 
and sodium hydroxide to form a soluble sulfonamide salt. Secondary amine reacts with benzene sulfonyl chloride and sodium hydroxide to form an insoluble sulfonamide. Tertiary amine will not react with the sulfonyl chloride but is insoluble. Using another dropper, take a small quantity of concentrated HCl. Add it into the test tubes A, B and C. In test tube A, the soluble sulfonamide salt formed precipitates after addition of HCl. In test tube B, acidification of the mixture does not dissolve the insoluble sulfonamide. In test tube C, the insoluble amine is converted to a soluble...